ExxonMobil has long been a proponent of hydraulic fracking. They believe that fracking has no negative impact on groundwater, the environment, or on the possibility of it increasing earthquakes in states where earthquakes previously didn't even exist. However, interestingly enough, Rex Tillerson, the CEO of ExxonMobil, did something against fracking back in 2014. And the story is resurfacing, leading to a little bit of criticism toward uh, one of Donald Trump's cabinet picks. Now, he has been nominated as Secretary of State for the Trump administration, which is interesting because, again, he's the CEO of ExxonMobil. Now, back in 2014, uh, apparently there were plans to build a water tower close to a property that he owned in Denton, Texas. And Tillerson wasn't happy about this water tower, especially because that water tower was going to be utilized for hydraulic fracking. The water was so, supposed to be taken from that tower uh, to locations where hydraulic fracking would take place. Now, let me give you the details. The tower would be almost uh, 15 stories tall, adjacent to the 83-acre horse ranch Mr. Tillerson and his wife own and a short distance from their 18-acre homestead. Damn, that's a lot of acres, by the way. Yeah, of course. The guy's going to make this. I mean, he already made gazillions of dollars being the CEO. Uh, but on his way out, they're going to give him approximately $150 million. Uh, so, they, so they say, no, 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 of course, he earned that through his years of service, et cetera. Plus, when he's Secretary of State, <laughs> there are no more sanctions that involve oil. We'll be made getting any contract we like, including the half a trillion dollar one we negotiated with Putin earlier. No, I mean the $150 million, that's just, of course, good work that he's been doing, uh, supporting things like one of the part, core parts of ExxonMobil's business, fracking. Yes. Oops. So again, <laughs> he's all for fracking when it impacts the lives of other people, but if it impacts his life in any way, uh, he's against it. Now, one of the opponents of the fracking project in Denton County is Rex Tillerson, CEO of ExxonMobil, a company that proudly touts fracking as an essential part of American energy development. Rex Tillerson had joined a lawsuit again back in 2014 to stop construction of a water tower near his estate on Dove Creek Road. That water would be used in fracking, a process to drill oil and gas. Now, after news broke that he had joined this lawsuit, and in fact, he even uh, attended an, a three-hour meeting regarding this issue. Uh, town he, council. Town yep. council meeting regarding this issue. Uh, he quietly dropped out of the lawsuit, you know, because he's like the CEO of ExxonMobil, and maybe it's not a good look to protest uh, something having to do with fracking. Now, Tillerson even appeared at the Bartonville Town Council meeting to speak against it, saying that he and his wife moved to the area for its rural lifestyle. Tillerson told the council that he had invested millions of dollars into the property to turn it into a cutting horse facility. Okay, so I have to clarify a few things because I want to make sure you guys know the facts and I want it to be a fair story. So his argument against this wasn't that it was going to have a negative impact on the environment. In fact, a lawyer in this lawsuit claimed that he wasn't even concer concerned about, uh, you know, the noise and all of that. He was just worried about it devaluing his property. Which is interesting because fracking takes place uh, all throughout the country, whether or not residents are in favor of it. And he doesn't care if it devalues their property, but he certainly cares if it devalues his. So, no, I, I, look, you, you're being overly fair to him because in the lawsuit, you're right, he, he claims, well, I didn't know, I'm just fine with the fracking part. It's, it's just that, you know, uh, you know, it's going to devalue my. What, then why is it going to devalue your property? Why would the fracking devalue it, right? If you're told if there's nothing wrong with it, and he did complain about the noise, the traffic, etc. But in the lawsuit, it says that fracking has all these side effects. He is part of the people who brought the lawsuit, mm -hmm. so he wants to pick and choose and say, now I'm suing them on all these grounds, but I'm going to say for publicity reasons that no, 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 I'm not talking about the side effects. I'm just talking about how much fracking is going to ruin my property. Oh, I see. That's not hypocritical at all. And most of this is what he talks about how it's going to affect his horses. So when it's your family, he says frack everywhere. When it says horses, he's like, no, 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 no. It will disturb my beloved horses. So, and then he's not the only Republican who joined the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. The other guy uh, who fought against this is Dick Armey, former. Leader of the Republicans in the House. What a dick. 
Okay, literally. You know, this, these guys getting together, you know what they're basically saying? And I'm going to give you a quote in a second. They're saying, no, 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 you misunderstood us. Fracking is for the middle class to deal with and, and sometimes the poor. But it's spread out so many different places, it mainly affects the middle class. Yes. It's not for us rich people. You'll devalue the property that our horses are on. How dare you? And he went, when he went to the town council meeting, here's what he said. This is uh, Tillerson. I cannot stay in a place where I do not know who to count on who and who not to count on. So that's him saying, hey, I bought this millions of dollars of worth of property here, and if I can't count on you council members, I'll either move or I'll have you removed because I'm Rex Tillerson. You want to watch the whole two-hour show, Young Turks, anytime you want, anywhere you want, any way you want, no commercials? I know what you're thinking. People should die. They want Tony Snow to die. Cheney to die. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> Nonetheless, become a member, trtnetwork.com slash join.